In this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction to Discord so that you can understand the true value that there is in being on Discord and being a member of Discord communities. Uh, and there indeed is the point of Discord. It is a place for people to host online communities. It is merely the platform that they're, that people are using to host their communities. I think that some people get put off Discord uh, for a couple of reasons. And the first one is the terminology. When people are saying, come and join my server, uh, come and join my Discord server. Um, it, first of all, you might not know what Discord is. Okay, let's get that out of the way. But the fact that it's called a server somehow makes it sound, I think, uh, a bit technical from an IT perspective. <laughs> so that's what so it con conjures up those images. Uh, Nothing to uh, be fearful about this. It's really quite simple, as we'll see as we go forward. Uh, but I, I know from talking to people that that's what they've had. They've had this idea that mm, it's maybe not for me. I don't, I'm not really into uh, uh, servers and things like that, and that sounds a bit too heavy for me. Uh, it's literally just a place for people's online communities. Uh, if you're in Facebook groups and things like that, there are distinct differences. Uh, Discord's certainly better for hosting uh, online communities than Facebook groups, but it's just like that. It's a place for people to come together, chat, share information, share ideas, all of those sorts of things. So if ever you hear somebody saying, come and join my server, uh, what they're actually saying is, hello, welcome, come and join the community, come and join the family, uh, come into my home, <laughs> come into my space, and we'll, uh, let's have a, have a chat and start a conversation. Uh, it's totally uh, all about that rather than anything from a technical point of view, unless, of course, you join in somebody's technical server where they're talking about that sort of stuff. Um, so that's, that's all it is. And the other thing that I think maybe people have had reservations about with Discord before is because it has been really heavily adopted and used by gamers, certainly in the initial years. I think it started in around 2015. And for the first five years, it was uh, really predominantly gamers that would have their, and gaming communities that would have uh, Discord servers. So it had that sort of reputation as being, oh, it's a thing for gamers. It's not a thing for me. A bit like in the early days of Mac, where everyone was like, oh, Macs are for graphic designers. They're not for uh, for the rest of us. And look at Macs now. <laughs> anyway, so that is just a little bit of a uh, sort of preface to get out of the way regarding Discord. Uh, there's, It's for everybody. It's for all communities of, uh, you know, covering all different topics and things like that. And there's really nothing to it. So let's have a look at the Discord website, first of all. Um, you may well find that your route into Discord is by clicking on somebody's invite link where they're saying, hey, come and join my server. You can totally just get straight onto Discord and into Discord by clicking one of those. So a little bit later, when I put my Discord link up or when I, you find it in the description, uh, then if you haven't got a Discord account, don't worry, you can just do this all at the time that you join and it's literally a couple of clicks away. So there's nothing complicated about uh, doing this. But I will just show you the Discord website in any case. And of course, all of these links are in the description. Um, so you can actually create an account up here. You've got this little login button. Uh, so you can click on that and then that will take you through either to a page like this to log in, or if you need an account, you haven't registered, then you can come in this way. I think that button only says login for me because I am already logged in. <laughs> or rather that it's recognizing my browser, I should say. I've already got an account. Uh, but you can see it, this is all you need to start an account uh, with um, uh, Discord. I'm sure you know what sign up pages look like. You know, an email, username, and password. That's it. Uh, and then it does ask for your age because they've got a minimum age limit um, of, uh, <laughs> of 13. So I'm guessing anyone watching this is pretty fine with the age limit. Uh, and then just click continue. Now, once you've created your Discord account, then you can uh, access Discord and access your Discord communities uh, in really all of the ways. <laughs> so either from any browser, you can just go to Discord com log in and then you can access all of your communities that way um, or you can also download the apps and there is desktop apps for Mac and PC and then also for all of the uh, mobile devices as well so there's an iPad app an iPhone app and also for Android and things like that so uh, once you come to the home page though you can download those here by the way, the point of me doing this video on my channel, uh, I'm going to have a sort of mini series, if you like, about Discord and some of the things about it. Um, but really, this is uh, just to, in order to help to hopefully uh, provide a little bit of education to people who watch my channel who may be interested in joining my Discord server so that you understand the sort of value in doing that and, uh, and why that might be of, of interest to you. So that's the reason for me making these videos. I'm not going to go and do a whole series in depth on Discord and how to do that because there is a far better resource for you 
to check out for that. And that is a site called Discord for Creators from my friend Keely. <laughs> and uh, here, if you want to know anything about Discord, this is the place to be. And of course, she's got a great Discord server. And in fact, I'm going to show you my Discord server a little bit later uh, and everything that I've got there for in terms of all the, all the good things about it. <laughs> oh, thanks to Keely. All the other things that are maybe not so great are my little experiments. <laughs> so uh, definitely check out Discord for Creators. You can join her Discord there. You can watch her videos. They'll go into far more depth about all the uh, ins and outs of using Discord. And if you are a creator as well, then uh, hands down the uh, place to go because this will uh, give you all you need to know about uh, setting up your server and things like that. Uh, plenty of training in here about how to uh, do all of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about in terms of getting things set up and you know how I how I got mine set up. Um, but then also, if you just want the hands-free approach, uh, Keely it can also do that for you as well and just actually get everything all up and running and looking uh, looking like home for you in no time at all. So that's Discord for Creators. I'll leave a link to that in the uh, description. Uh, highly, highly recommend it if you want to know anything more about Discord. So definitely head over there. Um, but for the time being, let's uh, just have a quick look at uh, what it looks like once you have actually signed up to Discord and you get into you know, somebody's server. <laughs> what is it? Well, it's basically, as I say, it's just their online community space. So let me show you what the app looks like. So this is now the app on desktop and there are really a few different sort of terminologies that I'm going to explain to you uh, over the next uh, few minutes. Um, so first of all, Discord servers, as I've said, these are just different communities that you are a member of. Uh, and these appear down the, uh, the left-hand side here. So here we've got my community. This is my Take One Tech uh, logo here, as you can see. And this is uh, my Take One Tech community. I'm also a member of some other communities. So we've got Doc Rock's community down here. We've got uh, Discord for Creators, of course. Uh, Dina Taylor, Silver Lining Home Place. Uh, great uh, one there. Uh, we've also got Michelle from LBC Branding. And we've got a few others down here. So lots of different communities. So these are all different servers. These are all different communities. That's just what that uh, terminology means. Now, once you uh, are in that particular community, you'll have basically this, uh, this sidebar here that's basically the organization and uh, I know that might just seem a bit weird if you've come from the world of Facebook groups what things are organized you can be organized in your conversations with your community uh, yes <laughs> you can and that is what is so great about uh, discord um, you've basically got uh, different sort of topics if you like that you're going to talk about so within discord you may hear people talking about first of all there's the servers so we already know that that's just people's uh, uh, community spaces that they've got You've then got categories and channels. Channels are basically just the themes of the conversation that you're having. So if you come into uh, my server, um, we've got a few different areas over here. So for example, I've got the help section. So if you want any help, you've, you're just new to Discord and you've joined my server, you need any help finding your way around, uh, like a little information post for you, if you like, as you've worked, walked through the door of the server. Um, here you'll find you know lots of different uh, links to different things like articles and stuff like that. Uh, and you'll also find in here, if you uh, miss the link that I post in the description, you'll find a link to Discord for creators because that's where I'm directing most people for help with Discord. Uh, and you can see here that it's basically a little bit like a forum, you know, where you've got a thread of conversations uh, running through. Um, and uh, so this is where people are talking about all things related to, uh, you know, getting set up and getting welcome. There is this other one here, which is the rules. So you'll find that most servers have some form of guidelines and things like that to just make sure that everyone knows the, the house rules when you walk into the, uh, the house. Uh, and then you've got a place for uh, sort of introductions and announcements and things like that. So all of these things that I'm showing you at the moment, these are called channels. So uh, this is another bit of terminology. A channel is nothing more than a sort of a theme of a conversation or something like that. So whatever it is that the, the topic is that you're talking about or that you've, uh, you know, you've got collecting your conversations around, then these are called channels. Uh, now, you've also um, got something which is basically ways to group your channels, which are called categories. So um, these are these little headings here. So like here, I've got start here. So this area here is my category is start here. And all of these channels are related to, you know, welcome to the group, introducing yourself, announcements, rules, and all that sort of stuff. So that is a category. Um, but this is a great way to sort of find your way around the uh, server. Um, so we with mine, the way that I've structured this for the moment, obviously these sort of things are, uh, you know, the whole point about it being a community thing is that your community may tell you, you know, that they want a sort of a different layout or they want extra topics to talk about and things like that. It's a place for you to grow your community and grow with your community. Uh, but I've grouped my things into uh, some rough sections. So I've uh, got here and uh, so I've called it a section, but as I say, it's categories. It's like a grouping of different threads of, ch uh, of chat. 
So here I've got uh, a number of different uh, channels in here. Uh, one for YouTube, so this is where I post my YouTube live streams, things like that. If I'm a guest appearance on any uh, any other anyone else's show or anything like that, that appears in here. So you can see uh, guest appearances. So I'm just using this as a place to let my community know, you know, where else they can find me that's off my channel if I've been interviewed on something and, you know, to help promote those other people's uh, shows and things like that. Um, and then you can obviously have chat around this as well. So if I'm on a particular show and somebody's got some commentary or things like that that they want to talk about, uh, <laughs> you know, saying, hey, you are rubbish <laughs> or something like that, um, then you can go and do that uh, Do that in here as well. Uh, although nobody, nobody does that sort of stuff, do they? <laughs> Uh, I've got another one here for video ideas. So this is a place where, you know, if people watch my channel and they say, hey, you've been covering loads of things on Stream Deck, but one thing you've never covered is how to do X, Y, and Z. Well, now I've got a place for my uh, my viewers to give me feedback rather than it just getting lost in comments because, uh, you know, not everyone's going to see every comment. Whereas if you're a member of my Discord, I suppose I should just pop up this right now <laughs> to mention. If you're not already, then head over to takeonetech.io slash Discord um, and uh, then you'll get the link to uh, join the server and once you do, if you've got any ideas for videos, you'll be able to pop them in here. And this is where a conversation can start because then other people who are in the community can say, hey, yeah, that's a great idea. And what about also adding in X, Y, and Z as well? That sort of thing. So it's a place where these uh, conversations can be, uh, can be organized. I've also got a section on uh, so on courses. So I have got a number of different courses that are available that I do sort of separate to the channel, but you know as part of it really. Uh, so I've got an area here where people can uh, uh, see those and then also uh, talk about them as well. Uh, I've got a, a section about my affiliate links. So often with uh, different creators, I know this is the case for me. Uh, you know I want to support a creator and I know that they've talked about something, but I can't necessarily find their affiliate link. So I've just added this place in as a place to collect all of the different things that I am. An affiliate of uh, so that if somebody wants to sign up for Kajabi for example they can go and grab my uh, my link here uh, and then I've also got a section for uh, sort of my merch now all of that section is a little bit me 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 isn't it really uh, but I wanted to put that in just so that it was basically kind of like the hub of all of the things I'm doing uh, and people can uh, can find that but you can equally uh, just <laughs> if you're sick of the the, uh, the site of me <laughs> you can always just hide that out of the way um, and then down here is where I've got these other uh, uh, this other um, category. So this category is all basically uh, tech talk. So this is where I've then split it up into different um, channels, different topics, if you like, um, that are all related to the sorts of things I cover on my channel. So I do talk a little bit about studio gear, not so much, but I do cover, you know, when I've got new lighting or uh, the microphone or stuff like that. I do make videos about that. So there may be people who watch my channel who are really interested in that side of stuff, um, but maybe they're not so interested in the Ecamm Live stuff because I don't, you know, they don't don't use Ecamm Live. I know lots of people watch my channel who are, you know, really heavy Stream Deck users, but don't have any need or use for Ecamm, so they're not interested in that sort of uh, thing. Um, so here you can see the Stream Deck channel. Uh, so that would be the place where people can go to, you know, if they like my like what I'm creating on my uh, my channel and just want to be focused on only the Stream Deck side of stuff, uh, then this would be the place to join those conversations. Similarly, with sort of Mac automation, lots of people not using Stream Deck or Ecamm, but really into the Keyboard Maestro and all that sort of side of stuff that I cover. So here you can see, basically, I'm not going to go through all of these channels, um, but it is a way to just sort of organize these conversations in a really structured way. Uh, and you can just join in, you know, these conversations, whatever it is we're talking about. Uh, so here, the Ecamm Live thread and things like that, if that is something you're interested in. And it's a case of, yeah, just going through and being able to uh, participate. And so whatever, uh, community you join you'll have something similar to this obviously the name of the channels are going to be different the names of the you know the way that you group them this is all totally customizable if you are a content creator uh, and I'll be talking about this for content creators uh, in one of the other videos in this series I think I'm going to do about four of them so I'll be just sort of touching on that but like I say uh, discord for creators is the uh, definitely the resource to check out for that um, but the other thing that you can do in here is you've also got, um, uh, they call them voice channels, um, but they've actually expanded beyond voice to video. So you now can do basically uh, have uh, uh, 
a, a space where you can actually talk on video or all voice with your uh, community. So it combines some of the functionality of Zoom. So if you want to have regular meetings with your community, uh, you can just do it all straight from in here. So it's keeping everything all in one place. Um, and uh, you don't need to you know, have people dialing into Zoom and things like that. I could literally come in here now. And if I just clicked on this, it would immediately just start up a channel. So I'm now in a uh, voice channel and it's just opened up off the screen, but I won't do a full demo of this. In fact, I'll just disconnect right now. But uh, that is basically uh, just opened up a window for me to be in a voice, uh, a video call, just as you would do in uh, in Zoom. So you can have you know multiple different participants all in their little boxes, just as you would with Zoom, uh, and you can just do it all from within here. And people can sort of come and go. Uh, you can set different limits and different permissions and things like this on here, so that you do have control over who can come in and when they can come in and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but basically it's, it's great to have it all in this one space so you don't have people meeting on a Facebook group uh, where they can't actually find anything because there isn't any organization it's just a stream of uh, I was going to say consciousness but sometimes there doesn't seem much conscious about it because of the way that it's structured uh, I often find myself thinking I know someone mentioned that in that particular Facebook group um, but uh, there's no hope of me actually finding it now the search is really lacking in Facebook and the just you don't have the organization uh, like you're seeing uh, like you're seeing here um, you also got as well as the uh, sort of video calls uh, you can also do voice so you can do things that are just like clubhouse as well so not only a a sort of uh, a, a version of um, uh, zoom but you know voice only but you can also do things like clubhouse where you can have like a stage uh, so people are there talking uh, and then you can invite people up to participate in that as well so it's kind of really all of these things with all of the benefits rolled into one package it's kind of got the uh, the video and the voice calling it's also got the uh, you know the, the cl clubhouse effect but then it's also got the structure and organization of a, um, a forum things like that um, but forums again can be overly complicated this is really just sort of of like uh, I suppose two or three levels of uh, organization you've got your server you've got the grouping of your different themes of your chat and then you've got your chats uh, and your conversations that you're having uh, and within that you can create then within that you can create like a thread so if you've got a particular conversation related to uh, Ecamm Live for example within that you can then create one final layer where you just want to have a conversation about one particular part of it and so that would be a bit like you might imagine a sort of you know an email thread or something like that um, so that um that is basically how the uh, this sort of different layers of it work if you like um now that is all there is to it really it's a space as i say for people to come together one final thing i'll say though about it and certainly from a creator's point of view or if you're joining my server so i've got some things down here for courses and the other thing is so where you've got your channels the channels are represented by this little uh, sort of uh, hashtag sign the little pound sign um, you've also got some down here like this one has got a little padlock sign on it where it's a sort of basically a limited channel and that means that you can control the levels of access that people have to different levels of your server uh, so when people come into my server they'll have uh, sort of access to all of the general conversation uh, but then if you have joined my Ecamm Live Masterclass for example then as part of the Masterclass you get access to the Ecamm Live Masterclass area on the server same for the Zoom Masterclass and some of these other ones that I'm going to be making shortly as well so it does become a place where it's not just a sort of free-for-all <laughs> as it were um, but you can just uh, limit access and give people access to certain places so if you do want to learn all about Ecamm Live as well since we are talking about it uh, I do have my Ecamm Live masterclass it's uh, 150 plus videos uh, shortly I'm uploading some more today and tomorrow uh, that will uh, basically take you from beginner through to advanced in Ecamm Live and uh, lots of other things outside of that as well uh, you can sign up at ecamlivemasterclass.com. Uh, there's over $150 worth of bonuses included in the uh in the cost of the course and the course is only $147 so you $3 up basically but it's your online resource for all things Ecamm Live uh, and it's continually updated you get lifetime access so with any new versions of Ecamm Live that come out you'll always know the place to go to stay abreast of all of the latest information and as I've said as part of this also you will get access to that Ecamm Live masterclass channel in the discord so once you are doing the course although it's all online learn at your own pace all that sort of stuff with uh, pre-recorded videos you've still got that community aspect and that is just another great thing about discord it really helps you to sort of bring all of your community together and create these little spaces within your your community
So that was the introduction to Discord. And I hope you found that useful and hopefully it sort of helped to demystify it a little bit. I will just have to say, obviously, one more time, definitely head over and join my Discord at takeonetech.io slash Discord and help to grow that community and also help to shape it so that you can get the information that you want. It's the easiest way to get in contact with me as well. If you've got any particular videos that you want to see or you want any uh, further information on things that I've covered, Often comments get lost on YouTube. Uh, I see comments when they first come in, but it's really terrible on YouTube Studio for actually sort of tracking comments and following along with a thread of a conversation. Uh, they, they, it's not so easy to do that. Whereas Discord is not only a great place to have a conversation that I can then pick up and follow along with, but also that other people can follow along with and benefit from as well. So there are people that are commenting now on videos that I made, you know, eight months ago that somebody else might have watched and had a similar question. Um, but because, you know, they're not following the comments in that particular thread, they're not getting the benefit of the uh, the feedback and questions that other people are asking. So that's why I'm so passionate about uh, Discord. Now that I've finally seen the light, thanks to Keely, <laughs> she's helped me so much get this all up and running and uh, uh, really see the value that there is to me. And so that's why I want to share that idea of the uh, the value that there is in it for you as well that's all for this video but uh, coming up next there'll be some more discord videos that i'm going to be adding over the next few days um so uh, you can find out more about different aspects of Dis discord and uh, you can find those over on the right hand side so until the next video see you shortly